see you again. Good to see you Welcome. again. Welcome. You're looking fabulous. <laughs> I like the theme uh, this morning. I'm, I'm sure the Independence Day must, yes, must independence, yes. be reflecting in we're your mind. For, we're ready with independence, yes. Absolutely. So let's let's go. Uh, Saturday Times is what I have uh, first here with me. Uh, the biggest story there is FGN last minute moves to prevent nationwide strike on Tuesday engages prominent Nigerians to intervene. Up above that big story is uh, this about a man arraigned for alleged defilement of lover's four-year-old daughter. Anita Joseph is also in the news on the front page of Saturday Times, uh, explaining her decision to help women enhance their bums and hips. All right, to the uh, two stories, the last two stories uh, on the front page of Saturday Times, OB to Southeast leaders, no economic activity can flourish with insecurity. And there is a pathetic story of uh, a 28 year old Asimi or Motolani who is bedridden after uh, a sad romance with an 85 year old man. Alibaba, last minute moves, uh, the paper says, uh, between FG <clears throat> or by the federal government to prevent a nationwide strike on Tuesday. We've walked this road, you know, severally you know, over the years and even in the current, you know, administration of uh, uh, Bola Tinobu, what are your thoughts? My thoughts clearly is that, um, my thoughts are that uh, this uh, incessant strike uh, because uh, labor has always not st stood their ground. Okay. Every time labor complains about something, even organized labor, whether it is the doctors, whether it is the teachers, whether it's uh, ASU, anybody, as soon as they complain and government says we'll deal with it, they go on the conversation, they go have this dialogue, they talk. Then gov government then asks religious leaders, traditional rulers, well-meaning Nigerians to intervene. They talk to them, they step down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two administrations, three administrations over. These people still don't get paid. So what it means is that you get people to beg them, they soft pedal, you shift it to the next administration, they, they come out and protest again, you shift it. Have you heard one time that National Assembly members said that their monies were not paid or they were owed? Or maybe people in the executive said they were owed. All their monies get paid. So what we should actually go to so that we stop having strikes is that we should ensure that if the people, civil servants, and everybody that gets paid don't get paid, the legislators shouldn't get paid. So until those people get paid, legislators shouldn't get paid. You see that all their monies will come out at, time, at the right time. Have that. <laughs> but that's what we're saying. The thing is, it just means that you have not taken into consideration these complaints that these people have had over three administrations. We need this thing paid. You didn't pay. You get people to talk to them. Now you're begging them to soft pedal. If they still do the same thing, it's the same thing that they've been doing before till now. So that's a major issue. That needs to be... Uh, then the defilement of uh, an underage... Four-year-old. It's not even underage, a child. Absolutely. Let's not, when you say underage, you're talking about 16, 17, 18. This one is a child. Um, this is another problem. The people who they catch doing these kind of things, we don't see the punishment that is meted out to them to serve as a deterrent. If four or five of these men had been castrated... But we don't have that in our laws. We don't have it in our laws. But sleeping with these kind of young people is not in our con uh, well, culture we as well. life imprisonment. And then there is... You have to, of course, prove the guilt. Exactly. Of, of but some of, them were, some of them were caught. Mm -hmm. And some of them confessed. So this kind of people should be dead. So that it will just stop. When you hear it every time, and most times it happens with men who do not have self-confidence in themselves, you know, and have, what is, what is, and I think it's mental illness too. Or, right. or mental illness. And then the uh, insecurity that will be talked about. Until we sort out insecurity, mm. a lot of things will not happen. You know, I went to Morocco and my madame was coming back, was coming from the airport. And she landed at about 11 p.m. And the road from the airport to the, just herself and the driver, she was worried, like, this road is far. It is dark in the night. And the Moroccan driver told her, nothing will happen. Everything is okay. 
from where she was coming from. They drove a distance of like from Lagos to Ibadan. Mm. Nothing. It is hard for you to get into a car and drive from Lagos to Ibadan at 11 p.m. Why, why, why would you do that? Exactly. <laughs> so those are, those are so, the, those, my take here. Those are the current realities. Quickly to the Saturday punch. Still on the strike. And last minute move to avert strike fails. Labor shuns federal government may chain labor leaders. Keep Bajabi Amila along waiting for hours. In the meantime, aviation unions, bank workers, and others are ready for uh, a shutdown. Down there, poor students, parents seek tuition fees reduction as Independence Day gift. <clears throat> How cooking gas explosion left me partially blind. A, an emo technician is saying Lagos short Sladipo market three others in one week. Tribunals decide Ogun Sokoto governor poll petitions today and strike may delay Atiko Obi's appeal stalls tribunal sittings. Hmm. Independence Day gift. Alibaba. Uh, so tuition fees. Tuition fees, you know, uh, some time back uh, somebody sent me, uh, well, I. I I was in, I schooled in Lagos primary and secondary, and it was free education all the way, you know. And that also helped to justify the statistics of the high rise and the rates of uh, education at the time. Was there a place even then for private education? I think it was. There was no, it was not. Public schools public were just public okay. Public but, so, but now, private schools are more expensive. Mm -hmm. The private schools now make people go to public schools. But now the public school, the tuition fees in public school is rising astronomically. But again, you cannot say that the cost of education has not gone up. The cost of education has gone up. But the funding of education, if government had money, it wouldn't have been a problem. But government does not have money now. We don't have money to service our, our debt. We don't have money to go into uh, infrastructural development. We don't have money to even pay salaries. We don't have money to do a lot of things. Yet, the cost of governance Going has gone up. <clears throat> so these are the things that maybe teachers look at or striking workers look at to say, yo, you're increasing your salaries, you're sharing money into your emails, but <laughs> the major things that you should do to educate the people is, is not sorted. So that is a problem. All right. What other story, you know, catches cooking your fancy? Gas. The cooking yes. gas. Yes, cooking gas is, is a, yeah, <laughs> the, the, the danger of it is that uh, we, we do not know the consequences of either the cost of cooking gas, first of all, then the dangers of the consequences of an incident happening with cooking gas. It can burn, out a, a whole, burn down a whole house. So most of all these things, the price of cooking gas is going up. We need to be, and somebody did the research the other time and said the cost, the, the money we had lost in liquefied natural gas in over 60 years is nearly up to 22 trillion. What government should have done is that if you know that you have that kind of volume of gas, in your because the thing is that's the gas flaring that you hear about sure. you burn it first so that you can get to oil but if you had captured that gas it would have cost you maybe like three four trillion to harness the gas and distribute it across the country you would have saved yourself all the monies that you have lost in that distance. they would have distribution to homes that's why people have to go and be buying cooking gas up and down. But if you have distribution, you would have. So that needs to be looked into as well. Okay. The then last one is the Ladipo market. All right. Yes, there, the there's an ultimatum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three others in one week. Okay. That's from by the federal government. Regarding fuel. L Ladipo market, I think, I think the, the management of waste in that place needs to be looked into. Whether it's on the road, whether it is the, the dump site, or the management has to be looked into. Because the, the, the economy that Ladipo market feeds is the automobile industry and it's huge. It's huge. Every year you have over 300,000 cars added to the economy. This needs to be done. All right. Finally, with me is the nation, and uh, we, we can only spare uh, thoughts for one uh, big story there. Alibaba, the labor is said to still be adamant, shunning a pally called by government, and there's the issue of a court order that NLC says they are not in violation of. 
And MOBAD is still uh, trending. The corona has now started sitting uh, over uh, the course of his death. To ascertain the true course of, of his death, Confucian Shroud's health condition of tourism minister, gunmen abduct 31 villagers in Niger attack. Atiku on fishing expedition, Tinubu says. Lagos bans a street trading hawking uh, and statewide. Uh, which... okay, so I'll just quickly look at the street trading. Street trading. Uh, when, if you ban the street trading, just tell them to take their things off the street. Give them a time and say, take your things off the street. If we come, we will sweep everything. But, you know. They come back. No, no, no. But the thing is, the idea of driving all of them and carrying their yams, pepper, mm -hmm. and everything, and produce, with the kind of poverty that you have in this country, some of those people do not even make 20 naira profit on any of all those things they sell. Mm -hmm. And so some of them collect from somebody else too, so that they can add a bit get to something. it and get something to it. And then when you then take that, you know that that person is already on the way to going below poverty line again. So. Uh, there should be a tidier way to, to deal with this thing. But it's a metropolitan city, and we cannot have those things on the street. You know, you have a targeted place that people can go to and buy whatever they need to buy. But you don't need to have street. With the traffic situation in Lagos, <laughs> we have that kind of situation where there's the traffic need. and there's a need. People can be in traffic for hours, <laughs> and they need to eat. Uh, it's not even street hawking. It's not even those ones selling in traffic. It is those ones that set up shops have along the street. Who are, uh, have along, along heads, walkways. So, along, exactly. All that, right. Those are the fellas, over to you so now. So we go to Leadership Weekend. It says strike labor at a mansion meeting with federal government. Workers to ground economy as union mobilize the members. To Numbu Sultan begs NLC TUC. And it also says here, yeah, Corona bars journalists from covering Mobad inquiry as police nab Sam Larry. Labor Party demands an Imorex removal. And this and more in the Leadership Weekend. All right, so the Mobad case is, uh, I think Sam Larry was one of the people that was uh, fingered was so, yeah. for, for on the death of uh, Mobad. Uh, Mobad's case has, uh, now the group has uh, gotten a place to bury him after the body was exhumed. Um, Sam Larry had come out to put up his own statement on his relationship with uh, Mobad and how he does not have anything to do with the case. Uh, Naira Mali, too, did a video and an interview with... Uh, also Rilom. surfaced. Yes, it also surfaced. Uh, <laughs> people are saying, oh, it's AI, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know but, but it's not. It's not. Uh, so that, that is there. But I think that this thing needs to be put to rest quickly. The other good side, in spite of all the bad story, is uh, the number of uh, downloads and uh, plays that he's getting. Absolutely. You know, uh, he's been top 10 for nearly uh, two weeks now, and, and it means that some revenue is coming in. How that should be channeled to his son is very important, mm -hmm. not to his parents, but to his son. Uh, the other issue that came up is the case of uh, DNA, yes. uh, because the f some stories are going around that, uh, like somebody said, that boy is too fine to be... <laughs> but in the case, so. All right. So we'll go to Saturday Independent now. Mm -hmm. A litany of bad roads impede movement of goods and services. Life, business, hellish, according to taxi operators. Mm -hmm. Flood induced traffic jam exposed commuters to robbers, as according to insurance experts. Um, deleted Supreme Court bench plots to deny Nigerians justice, as according to Ahamba, SA, and others. How I became a threat to all BB Niger housemates, as according to Big Brother Niger Alec. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll talk about the one that concerns me. A bad road. Bad road. <laughs> you know that's what that concerns me. So, sometime last week I ran into a pothole. No, two weeks ago I ran into a pothole. And it took out my shock absorber. Whoa. And so, how? We're driving and then there's a car, the truck in front of me went astride this big pothole. And because the truck is bigger and I was following quite a distance, and then I entered the pothole. And on my dashboard it just said, Check shock. That's a problem. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll check it out later. I got to this and called the guy. And it's three point something million. Oh. So I called the guy and said, do I have to change all? And they said, well, they don't sell one. You it's know? A set. So if that kind of cost is now added to this kind of economy, there are many people who would not be able to do So what do you need? So is a switch in time. Mm -hmm. that says, if it's a small pothole, fill it. Small pot. Why wait till the pothole becomes very big and disrupts the whole 
uh, traffic uh, of uh, people and goods. Once again, what, what is the, uh, the, the, the job of the local government? So now local governments shift blames, blames to, to, especially in a cosmopolitan city where the state government is expected to fix everything. And then even when local governments, for instance, local governments ask you if you want to dig a pipe across the road, you pay to them first mm -hmm. before you do it. If you pay to them and you dig it, they still won't come and fix it. Okay. So some of the things that were, the maintenance of some of all those roads, after the state government has built a road for you, maintenance should not be, you shouldn't be waiting for state government to come. Just, just do it. And if you do not have money to fix a road immediately, use interlocking. Mm. Just fix quick that place. Fix. You, a quick fix. Just put interlocking there. You don't need it to get dried or stop the traffic. Just make the which, And interlocking, when you do it and it goes bad again, you dig it up, fill the place, and put it back in. All right. Roads, bad roads. Gentlemen, 